Welcome to Nate's Studio Desk, the place where you can come ask questions and get helpful advice on all topics related to architecture. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool add-in to Grasshopper that allows you to bring in GIS information, topographic maps, site property information, roads, streets, all that kind of stuff to make really nice urban design diagrams and maps and images. With this plugin, you have to go through a couple of steps to download it and get it working properly. But once you do that, you'll have a really powerful solution that will enable you to have a lot of flexibility when creating maps in, in Rhino. I hope you do like this video. And if you do, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay up to date with the latest videos that are coming out. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to Food for Rhino dot com and type in meerkat and then hit this meerkat GIS and you're just going to download the latest version <clears throat> so download the latest version right click that version and go properties and there's going to be an unblock and you want to check that unblock I'll just re-download this so you see that because that's very important to right-click properties unblock the file then you can extract it and you're going to copy all that information then come up to Rhino open up grasshopper by clicking this screen button here the grasshopper button and you can go to file special folders components folder hit that and then paste the information into the grasshopper libraries another way is you can just access it through this file path up here okay so what you'll notice here and what's important to read is this readme and you'll see here that you're going to need an api code now this is a little frustrating that you need this for this to work it used to be that google just let 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 you use this information now you need a unique api key code so in order to do that it directs you here the the the, the websites that you can go to 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 do that so let's go and do that really quick and essentially what we're looking for is adding your unique api google key into this text file so this document you will basically copy and paste paste your api key into this file you also want to make sure that all your files are in this folder and not in additional folders okay so in order to do that essentially what you have to do is activate a free trial i know what you're thinking this is kind of frustrating over 90 you get a 90 day free trial and you can only use this software for 90 days uh, i'm still contacting a rep and seeing if I can get an extension of that free trial or because I'm using this in such a limited fashion, maybe just getting it for free. Uh, I'll let you know how that goes. In other words, I think you just have to use a different Google account and it's um, for now at least a temporary thing and then you can go ahead and contact the sales and try to get extend that free trial or get a free version because we're using it in such a limited capacity. So set up your free trial and once you've done that i'm going to go over to my account here so once you do get to the uh, cloud platform you will have to create a project right now i'm working in this maps project and you can do that in this home dashboard and you can create a new project here the first thing you'll need to do is go to the navigation menu here and uh, go to this API and services dashboard. And first thing you'll need to do is go to the library and you're going to need to enable maps JavaScript. So make sure that's enabled. You're going to have to make sure, yeah, enable places API and you're going to want to also enable geocoding geocoding enable geocoding 
and then also enable maps embedded. Let's see where that is. Maps. Maps embedded. Enable that as well. Once you have enabled those, uh, enable those, you can come back up to the, the navigation menu and then go to credentials. And then here you're going to have, I'm not sure why I have so many keys here, so I'm gonna just delete those for right now. That's fine. I just want to have one key here. All right, so, and then for this, I think what well, I do want to regenerate this key. So regenerate key. The new key will be available immediately. The current key will be de deactivated. Okay. All right, so we have a new API key here. And I guess I need to activate my account. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna go special folders, components folders. Then I'm gonna go to this Google API text and type in paste, file, save, close, close. I'm going to come to this extra key and there'll be this import shape file. Select that, paste it, right click, hit true, and now it works. It finally works. That was driving me crazy because I had the API key. I had the API code in there, but I did not realize that my trial had expired. The thing that you're going to do is add your shapefile, and you can come up here and add a shapefile. So let's add the Raleigh two foot contours. Open that up. Open. And then we're going to zoom into Raleigh. Zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in. We're going to make sure that's checked. We also have the Wake County. And we're going to crop the information that we need. So let's say we are working in one specific spot of Raleigh. And this is what's great about doing it this way is that sometimes these files are large and this is a way to crop the information so you don't have super large files. Come here and draw a rectangle. Sorry, that's the first thing you do. Come here, draw a rectangle, draw it where you would like. And then you hit this manual crop adjust. And then you will crop shape files and then you determine a new folder. Let's just call this test. All right, so that's it for now. In future videos that will be coming out, we're getting into more of the functionality of Meerkat, but I want to just make a video specifically on just how to get this add-on into Grasshopper as you see. It requires a little bit of steps, but once you get it in there, it's a very powerful add-on and it's going to give you a lot of functionality and flexibility. And I think you're really going to, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Awesome. Stay tuned.